D-Drag with me, and let's talk unpopular drag performance tip. Regardless if you are a newer entertainer or an older, more experienced entertainer, it is important that you create numbers as though nobody in the audience was going to tip you. I know that's crazy. It's crazy to think of it that way. But one of my biggest pet peeves in the drag world is watching entertainers never touch the stage or the center point for the audience to watch what you're doing or that literally look for the next dollar in order to make a move. If I am sitting in the audience, it is so frustrating to me, regardless of if I were to do drag, to spend money on a show to have you have your back to me the entire time. Collecting dollar after dollar and just waiting. Like, I'm not going to move until I see another dollar for me to go grab. Now, the perspective that some of you may be thinking, or Jessica, that's a really privileged way of thinking. Some people need money. And girl, I've been there. I've been broke. I've literally been needing the tip money to get gas in my car, to make bills, to make rent, to survive, to eat that evening. And what I can tell you is that one of the things that I learned early on from watching an entertainer named Crystal is that you will have the money waiting for you. The dollars will be there. And more of them will be there if you focus on creating a performance as though no dollars were there. Focus on putting on a show and making it entertaining and bringing your storyline to life for the audience to enjoy, okay? And then take the time to collect your money. Now, I know some of you are like, well, Jessica, I it's rude not to go collect tips. That's fair. Some audience members will find it very disrespectful if you they see you waving a dollar bill and you don't stop and acknowledge them, okay? And I'm going to say if you're going to take tips during your number, plan it out. Plan out a segment, plan out a moment that doesn't distract you from putting your back to the audience, that doesn't uh, leave you off the stage for so long or out of the spotlight, out of the focal point of where most people can see you. Nothing irks me more than feeling as though I'm making this audience member pay a five, 10, 15, or plus dollar cover to watch the back of your head collect money and not do anything but just wear an outfit and be in drag. That's not entertaining. That's not fun. And in no way am I sitting here saying that I haven't done a number where I was not as prepared as I wanted to be, or I got nervous, or I didn't have a plan like I normally do, and I didn't take the time to not necessarily focus on the money, but more audience interaction, okay? It happens. It's just, like, that's gonna happen. I'm talking about the entertainers that make it almost their drag personality to not touch the stage, to only look for money, that whether they're nervous, whether there's an entitlement, whether there's a celebrity status to it, whether there's a, uh, I am pretty enough to get away with it, to each their own. But I want to encourage all new entertainers, experienced entertainers, to start developing numbers that you can perform on the stage without even leaving. 
without even leaving until it's the end, and then you can go collect your money. And I'm going to tell you that it'll come in handy when you have crowds that aren't as responsive, crowds that are far away, and they don't have the ability to tip you, or you can't get to the crowd, pride events, university events sometimes, high stages, or simply, <laughs> simply events where nobody wants to tip you. What are you going to do? What if you have a crowd that nobody's reacting to the reason to you? And you can sit there and say, well, that's never going to happen to me. I'm the best and baddest. But I've seen even the best and baddest bitch entertainers get little to no crowd response. Because it's just not their thing. It'll happen. But at least they perform unapologetically and they were sit there with their hands in their pants and their finger in their nose trying to put it all together. Do what you love and the money will follow. And sometimes just be there to perform. Do your shit the best that you can. Until next time. <laughs>